everyone, I'm Danielle Goss and welcome to this edition of the Third Age Health Brief. You've just recently gone through menopause and you have noticed that your memory is not as sharp as it used to be. In fact, you find yourself standing in the produce aisle of the grocery store with no clue as to what items you were planning to buy. You can't remember the name of someone you've just met, nor can you recall that recipe you wanted to make last week. Don't worry, you're not going senile, you're not old, and you're not alone. The year after your last menstrual period is when you're most likely to have memory problems, according to a study done at the University of Rochester Medical Center in New York and published in the journal Menopause. But don't worry, as annoying as your cognitive troubles may be, they will almost certainly resolve soon and you'll be as sharp as you ever were. A release from the university quotes lead author Miriam Weber saying, the most important thing that women need to be reassured of is that these problems, while frustrating, are normal and in all likelihood are temporary. She adds that women going through menopause transition have long complained of cognitive difficulties such as keeping track of information and struggling with mental tasks that would have otherwise been routine, and that this study suggests that these problems not only exist, but become most evident in women in the first year following their final menstrual period. The average age of menopause is 52. The release reports that the study followed 117 women who were grouped into four stages, late repro reproductive, early menopausal transition, late menopausal transition, and early postmenopause. The participants were assessed with a comprehensive battery of tests to evaluate a variety of cognitive skills including attention, verbal learning, memory, fine motor skills, dexterity, and working memory, which is defined as the ability not only to take in and store new information but also to manipulate it. The researchers found that women in the early stage of postmenopause performed worse on measures of verbal learning, verbal memory, and fine motor skill than women in late reproductive and late transition stages. Sleep difficulties, depression, and anxiety did not predict memory problems, nor were these issues associated with specific changes in hormone levels found in the blood. These findings suggest that cognitive declines through the transition period are independent processes rather than a consequence of sleep disruption or depression, says Dr. Weber. While absolute hormone levels could not be linked with cognitive function, it is possible that the fluctuations that occur during this time could play a role in the memory problems that many women experience. The process of learning new information, holding on to it, and employing it are functions associated with regions of the brain known as the hippocampus and prefrontal cortex. These parts of the brain are rich with estrogen receptors. By identifying how these memory problems progress and when women are most vulnerable, we now understand the window of opportunity during which interventions, be those therapeutic or lifestyle changes, may be beneficial. If you find yourself in this window of cognitive frustration, remember it is temporary and you'll forget about it before you even know it. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of the Third Age Health Brief. I'm Danielle Goss. Thanks for watching.